running with bricks in your hands. Is there any benefits to this? Well, actually for boxing, yes, there's lots of benefits to running with weights in your hands. And on this video, I'm gonna talk all about Rocky Balboa's training in the first two movies and see if he trained like a real boxer or was it the Hollywood stuff? And also tell you, can you train like Rocky and get the results that he had? Let's get into it. So with the running with the bricks in your hands or weights in your hands, obviously your hands is trying to drop you've got to keep your arms up, which is only going to help build your shoulder endurance, right? And you can get the same sort of benefits with shadow boxing with weights, we're wearing bigger gloves, anything that's trying to pull your arms down, that's making you keep them up. Setting your alarm clock for 4 a.m. Should you do that? Is it better to get up and train very early in the morning? Well, Mike Tyson did it, and he did it because he used to say he knew that his opponents weren't getting up that early, so he would do it for his mentality. Now, me personally, I would never like to train this early. I wouldn't be good at training this early. I think the best time for you to train is when you're well rested and your body is up for it. Me personally, 4 a.m., definitely not. Now he's just getting out of bed, he's cracking them eggs open, getting his protein from raw eggs. Now I remember when I was young, I got very inspired by Rocky Balboa, and I actually did this a few times, and I was nearly sick. And honestly, I don't think there's any benefits to doing this. I think now it could do you more harm than good. There, he's cracked five eggs open right there. Then well, we just drinks them. Oh, yeah. Slurping all over his pajamas. He's got that towel around his neck. Why you got the towel around your neck? Well, he's in Philadelphia. It's probably very cold there. And then I love his warm up. He does a couple of little leg stretches here, hamstring stretch. And then he starts his jog. And to be honest, I used to do warm ups like this. Sometimes I didn't even warm up. I used to go straight into the run, which I don't recommend. I think you should warm up their muscles before you go running, especially if you're in a place where it's very cold, like Philadelphia or like Sunland, where I'm from. We do see Rocky doing lots of running throughout the Rocky movies and you know running is something that just what all boxers do. It's good for cardiovascular fitness, you're burning a ton of calories, it's helping maintaining your weight, which you need to do in boxing and it's just keeping you active. As much as I didn't like running, I think it's got a ton of benefits. The good old speed ball, hand eye coordination as well. The speed ball is great for shoulder endurance. Again, you know you've got to keep your arms up, your arms are going to get ache and they're going to want to drop, but when you're hitting the speed ball all the time, great for your shoulder endurance. Oh, one arm push-ups with a jump. This is very, very advanced. And you notice he's put his arm behind his back as well. Push-ups is a great upper strength body exercise for your shoulders and for your arms. And as well as really working your core. And with the one arm push-ups, obviously it makes it harder. You just work on one arm at a time. And then with that explosive push, it's just increasing the explosiveness in your arms. In boxing, if you think about it, your arms are exploding out, you know, and then coming back in. And as well, if you're inside and you've got to push out, it's helping with that strength there as well. Now he's going on the clap push-ups. Absolute beast, Sylvester Sloan. This is a great piece of training as well. I, I used to do this all the time, and I love it with a med ball smashing off your stomach. My trainer used to do this to me, and the benefits of this is, you know, it's getting your body used to things you not know, hitting it, getting conditioned. So when a punch does land, you've already been hit. And I think the key with this exercise is trying to do it and breathe at the same time. So you learn how to tense up your stomach while you're staying relaxed. And I think a huge thing for this is your mentality. It really does make you feel tough and strong after you've had a coach pound it on your stomach with a big heavy leather medicine ball. Ab work is very crucial for boxers, but the way he's doing this, going all the way down and all the way back up, it could injure your spine. There's lots of different ab exercises that you could do, that you'll get the same benefits of these crunches that he's doing right here. And as well, with a strong core, you'll be able to punch harder and you'll be able to punch faster as well. Oh, the good old punch in the meat. I love, love, love this about Rocky when he's punching that meat. He's got no gloves on and his hands are just getting swamped with blood as he's punching it and whacking it in. But it's very dangerous. He's got no gloves on. And this meat, as you can see, it's got bones in. He will get injured if he was doing this. Finally, some heavy bag work. We've got Rocky there blasting in that heavy bag, his coach is holding the bag. Now the coach comes and gives him some string to put around his legs. So the goal with this is the string's not out of break. So you've got to keep your feet in that same distance 
and get the power and the balance. That's actually very difficult to do. The problem that I seen with Rocky's footwork when he was hitting that bag is the coach had all of the bags, so he was standing static rather than letting the bag swing and using his feet to move around the bag. And this idea is to try and keep his feet together because if he opens them, he's going to break the string. But keeping your feet together can make your balance even worse. But I guess what the coach is trying to say is when you're doing this, it's putting you in the position so no matter where you are, you'll still be able to hit hard, I think. Uh, I'm not a fan of that exercise. You're up. Right. Go ahead. How about you give us your order? Get out of here! Don't you ever interrupt me while I'm conducting business. Move your little chicken ass. Listen, kid, you, you lay off that pet shop day. Women weaken legs. <laughs> Women weaken legs. No sex before a fight. This is something that's been around boxing forever, but I don't think there's actually any science behind it. What I think is behind it is more of the discipline. If you're out with a girl messing around nights before fights, obviously you're not being very disciplined. So that's why the scene that weakens legs. And also, to be honest, when I was boxing, I went with this myth as well, and I never had sex or messed around within two weeks of a fight. It's just good to keep you focused and you know that you've been disciplined for that. Sylvester Sloan is a great runner. Look at that, look at that speed. And sprint work is very beneficial for boxing as well. Look how fast he's going. Sprint work increases your overall endurance, boosts your metabolism, also helps you with your explosiveness, which we all want need to be explosive in boxing. The famous Rocky Stairs. I used to love running upstairs when I was fighting. It's great for leg strength, burning fat. And when you're running upstairs, you kind of hit that wall faster. You've got to push through that. So ultimately, it's great for your mentality as well. I used to love, but I also really dislike running stairs because of that reason. And as you can see at the top now, he's so happy. The famous scene where his hands in the air. Don't you just love Rocky? Here with the sledgehammer, smashing up some scrap. You know, sledgehammer work is very good for boxing. It's helping improve your overall endurance. It's a full body workout. It's really improving your rotational strength, which you need, if you think, to throw them punches. Also, there's something to be said about the feeling when you're smashing something really hard in your training. Now, to do one-arm pull-ups, it takes some serious strength. Normal pull-ups is great for boxing. You know, working that shoulder endurance. You work on them lats. Ah! Sit up with twists, it's great. You know, you're building your obliques and then throwing the punches as well with the abs. Great ab exercise. You can do this on an inclined bench. Good old jump rope. Everyone links boxing with jump rope, and there's a reason for it because it's great for your hand, eye, and foot coordination. As well as you're building your overall endurance as you're doing this. And I used to do jump rope at the beginning of every session, but you can also do it at the end of every session as well to help you with your cool down. Finally, we see Rocky doing some mitt work. This is just about every fighter's favorite part of training. It's great to hit their mitts. It's like giving you a sort of a reaction training. And as well, you can throw combinations on the mitts that you couldn't throw on a heavy bag. You know, putting overcuts in body shots and mixing it all up. As well as the coach, you can throw punches at you and you can slip and move. Now, right here, I'm looking at this coach. Doesn't look like much of a coach, but I guess Mickey, the old coach, couldn't really hold mitts. Now, Rocky's form, on these mitts is pretty terrible. Look at that first hook he's through. He's through the hook, he's brought his arm right down of his chest, and he's open for Apollo Creed's big, massive right hand. Then there, he's throwing them punches, hands are dropping after each punch. Yeah, very, very sloppy. Med ball twists, a great rotational exercise. With these, you're really strengthening your core as you rotate, which we need for them sloppy punches that we've just been seeing Rocky throw on the mitts. These lat raises here, obviously helping your lats and your deltoids. Good exercise, but I think his form's a little bit off there and he could get injured. Now these jumping squats, this is so, so hard to do and I would not recommend this. There's definitely better exercises for your legs to do than this. To me, when I see this, it makes me think he's gonna blow his knee out, but it's very difficult to do what he's doing there, but really building that leg endurance and then that leg strength, which you need for boxing. The overhead barbell press. This is hard, but I'm glad that he's doing it fast rather than slow, you know, to help with that, you know, explosiveness speed. Going in front of your head and behind your head. Now, I don't think that is very safe these days. I might be wrong. I'm not a strength expert. You tell me. Oh, 
the abs with the big slaps in between. This is great training. When I was talking about the med ball, when it's bashing you in the stomach, this is even better because you're adding that sit up in just before. Great for your mentality, great for you to feel like a tough man. And you are a tough man if you're doing that. Finally, we've seen some boxing work, rather than all the strength training that he's been doing. But again, one thing I'm noticing with Rocky, his form is terrible. And I get what this is all about. It's exciting, it's not for the boxer, it's for the general public, so it's very motivating. But his coach should be working on bringing that non-punching hand back to your face, rather than where we see this right here when it's down, when he's throwing that hook. And what I, I like what he's doing there, he's just working on that hook. You know, repetition, repetition, repetition. And that's what you need to do if you want to get better at throwing that hook. Keep throwing the bloody thing. I want you to try, listen to me. I want you to try to, to chase this little chicken. <laughs> Why do I chase a chicken? Gotta love this. You know? Chasing a chicken. Because so it's embarrassing. Second. And second, because chicken chasing is how we always used to train in the old days. <laughs> you catch this thing. Says chicken chasing is how they used to train. I don't know anyone in the history of boxing that used to chase a chicken for training. But again, it makes for a great story, right? You can catch grease lightning. Ready? Yeah, well, I'd rather eat it than chase it. Ain't very mature. Listen, but I'll, I'll <laughs> well, neither are you very mature. Now listen, get this thing. Fighter, ain't a fighter. Boy, get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Come on, what's the matter with you? Get him! <laughs> so I'm guessing the idea behind this is to work on reactions, footwork, moving laterally. Uh, there's so many different things that you could do rather than chase a chicken. But again, it makes for a great storyline. Now if you want some modern day boxing drills that you can do yourself, click here and watch this video next where I give you tons of drills that will help you get better at boxing.